Rodney here from Cleves Tech with some exciting news and fresh tips for you. Today we're going to be diving into the latest WAN 2GP version 3.3 update. And trust me, it's a big improvement for people with lower uh, amounts of VRAM. You can now create image to video projects with less than 5 gigabytes of VRAM, insanely low requirements, and it's much faster. And that's thanks to the new 1.3B Fun INP model. Now, if you're wondering that 1.3B means it's compared to the 14B. So those numbers represent the model size and parameters. So 1.3 versus 14 billion. 1.3 is smaller, lighter, faster, great for quick experiments or lower end setups. While the 14B is still gonna be the better one, delivering better quality, but you're gonna need more power, more VRAM. It's gonna take much longer. I haven't fully tested 1.3B yet since it's just dropped, but I'm excited to see how it performs and things keep just getting better. If you're not familiar yet with WAN 2GP, I do recommend watching my previous video, which goes over the install in Pinocchio and all the basic settings and getting started. I'm not going to be covering all those things here. In this video, I'm going to be covering more or less the new stuff and some of the things that I've learned. So not an awful lot has changed overall in the interface. I'll walk through a few different things. So we're gonna go into the configuration first because obviously the biggest one is the model changes. Now this will allow people with lower this 1.3 16 bits image to um, video model. Works pretty decent comparatively. I mean, compared to the 14 billion parameter ones, no, it's not gonna perform as well. Uh, if you're looking for the best quality, those are the ones to use. But this one can be fun to experiment with. Or if you can't, if you have a low VRAM system, you can definitely be using this. I've heard under five gigabytes. I don't have the ability. I don't have anything with that low of a requirement. I don't have a card that low. So, but I do know when I've been running it, it's definitely using under that. So that's the new one there. I, as far as the new fun ones, the 14 bill, billion parameter ones, those, I compared them slightly with these, they seem to be about the same. So I'm not sure if there's any difference when it comes to that. Now your output folder here, you can change that. I don't know if that was there before in all honesty. I may have missed that. So, but that would be in here. If we go into our app folder, um, you know, if you go into Pinocchio, API, then the WAN, uh, get, and then your app folder, there's going to be your outputs. That's where your videos are going to be saved. That covers that. Then you have in, um, let's see down here, if you want to keep videos in the preview window, when you hit that generate button again, instead of wiping them out, you can keep the last ones in up to the last 30 in there. The other thing is adding metadata to video. I didn't see this before if it was there or not, or you could have it exported as JSON files. Now, if you have it added to the video, the way you can see that, we go into the properties of the file, go under details. You'll see there's a comment thing in here, and that's got all your generation details in here. So, so if you're ever looking to see how to get back and how you created that video, you'll have the information in there, a seed and everything. And remember, if you change any of these, you always want to hit the apply changes. Another settings, well, there's the other thing I'll cover. Actually, I'll cover this right away. Um, when I've had questions about the LoRa's and with the text to video, if it supports it. Well, it does, but it won't show this part, top part up here. You won't see initially. You will see it in here if you click on the let's start the Laura Festival thing and you download them, then this will show up because those are all set with presets and everything else. And those go into the image to video folder. But when you do that, you won't see this up here because you won't have any LoRa's installed yet. Now, in order to get that to show up, you would have to go in and have a LoRa's in this folder for your text to video. And then once you do that, then this will be showing up in here. And when you put a new LoRa in a folder, you can just hit refresh and it will load it. But you'll notice I had a couple in there. There's nothing in here. Well, the reason for that is I didn't create the presets as they have for, if we go into the ones for image to video that get downloaded, those are downloaded with a preset file. All that is, is it just, and you can make these for any of them yourself. 
it tells it the Laura file name and everything else, the actual how the prompt should be set up. You know, if you can copy the same format, and then basically you can create your own presets. I'm not going to go through that. So once you um, have a Laura in the, these folders here, um, then if you go into the advanced mode down here and we click down, you're going to find this one section that says activated Laura's. We don't have any at the moment. So if I just click on this, I can bring these up. There's different places you can get these Laura's. Uh, Civet AI is one of them. So for example, this one I have here is supposed to improve details on images. That would be this one here. So that's supposed to improve the details on the images. You're not supposed to need to do anything special as far as the prompting goes. But if you do install Laura and you want to use it, you got to pay attention if there's a trigger word or anything like that on how you need to format the prompt because that will be vital. For this one, apparently it just improves the details. So basically what it comes down to is you're not going to have anything showing up in here unless you, you won't even have these options show up until you put Laura's into those folders. And once they're in there, then you'll start having those options show up. So um another new setting is there's a cfg star which is supposed to have better adherence to text prompts um i haven't experimented enough with it to say one way or the other you can now save settings as default so any of these settings once you have them figured configured you can um, change those the other thing i've noticed i've started playing with the tcache um settings because i had read before that they the videos didn't come out that good, the people said, but I decided to start testing it, and I don't find that's much of an issue, especially if you don't start it at zero. I've been starting at about 5 or 10%, and I have it set on 2.5, and I haven't really seen any degradation from what I can tell in any of the videos. So, yeah, go ahead and do that because that makes a huge difference. I'm, I'm producing, doing videos now. Uh, under 15 minutes for a you know five six second clip um, with 35 steps and everything else without an issue oh and when it comes to the Laura's there's tons of them um, a lot of different places Civit AI is one of them um, they have a lot because you can see here I'm not showing most of them I actually have the um, not safe for work stuff filtered out at the moment but that's what most of these are so now, I'm going to show you how to use one right now. So this one I just picked, uh, it's a dancing one, and it says in here some example prompts. And so we're going to want to use those and get the trigger words, basically. So you download those, put it into the, the image to video Laura folder or the text to image. Some work on both, I think. And like this one says it was based on. So it may not work on certain models. like. A, these won't work on that new 1.3 fun and even some other ones you may i've had a couple that i've tried to use and it was trained on a different model than i have available so it just didn't work but most of the ones i've tried so far have worked so let's go ahead and give this one a shot show you how this works so we're going to put this guy in here a unicorn um got a prompt set up and now this is different than if we're using those presets because the ones that you download come with the presets. And when you click on these, it will fill in um, these down here. Then you can just fill in the, you know, the one part, the subject or whatever, and it will fill in the rest. So this one, as I said, I'm going to have the Tcash set on 2.5. Oh, I also need to add that Laura, which is actually DBC. Not the greatest of names, so that's probably a better thing to start renaming some of these and organizing them. But And you can have more than one, as far as I know. You can have multiple Laura's activated. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this to work. There we go. Now, the other thing I have been uh, using is the skip layer of guidance. I haven't had any problem with that. Um, so that's something you can give out, try out. Um, experimenting with the adjusting the denoising steps as i've talked about in my previous video like i said if you haven't watched that definitely check that out i do talk about how to do the multiple images because that's what i've been doing is when i go to bed at night i throw in a whole bunch with a bunch of prompts come down especially now where i get the tcash set up 
and it's generating a lot of videos, I can basically generate a ton of videos every night. That makes things really, really nice. Okay, it looks like it's done. So let's see how this came out. Well, not too bad. I mean, for a first shot and considering we're using an abnormal image, I didn't have any problems with any normal people. So as you saw, as I mentioned in my last video, if you haven't watched it, watch it. But it's, you know, the frame rate's pretty slow. So why don't we go ahead and quickly, since I don't want to, I want to see how that came out. So I'm going to use uh, NIM, which I like using for the upscale feature. Um, uses only one of their credits. I do use it also for the uh, other stuff as well. And I'll include a, my affiliate link uh, in here in case anybody's interested in 50% off the first month with them. They do have some really great tools in here. Um, I use them more and more all the time. And they reduce the cost of credits in their WAN model, which is using the 720 version. I compared it to some of the other services, and wow, big difference. They're much cheaper. Oh, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, let's see, increase the frame rate on here. And I'll just double the resolution. Well, let's just go all the way up on it, 4X. And we'll hit generate, see how that comes out. I can't run the 720 on my own system. So I, I on here, I experiment with some of the 720s. Um, this was done with a 720. So I'm trying to figure out how to get good prompts. Um, because one thing I'm noticing is when you use like a lot of the camera direction, stuff like that, it doesn't necessarily follow it. Although this one did do pretty well. Uh, it gently blurred the background as it was described in the prompt. So overall, not too bad. One thing I have noticed with WAN, like this one came out really well. Um, the walking ones sometimes do well, but sometimes they, they walk in place. This one didn't have a problem with that. Um, cars, I couldn't get it to do an awful lot with cars. I'm still working on that. You know, it doesn't have the tires spinning, things like that. So I'm not sure with prompting for vehicles, the best way to do that. That's still something I'm working on. If I had more VRAM, I could use the 720 locally and take advantage of that quality increase. But as I said, I haven't noticed a drastic difference. When I did a lot of testing so far, I generated some on NIM and I generated some locally. And there wasn't a huge difference on um, a lot of the quality settings. Okay, let's see how that looks now finished much smoother there better quality i'll have to try running that again um a little bit longer i think if the video was a little longer that 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 unicorn might have started dancing but i'm definitely liking this model i i think the biggest thing i'm having a challenge so far has been getting the prompts sometimes i find a simple prompt works best depending on the scene Sometimes a complex prompt will work, but I'm also finding camera controls don't work that well. But there is, I'm noticing a lot more LORAs coming out for it. So I'm going to start probably going over through some of those, start digging through some, find some good ones, see what works, what doesn't work. So far, most of the ones I've tried work fine with anything in um, WAN 2GP. So I think that covers everything in the new update and what I've learned so far. I will probably be making some more videos on using WAN and WAN 2GP and the lures if people are interested. If you found the video helpful, please hit that like button. It does make a difference. I do want to thank the people who have donated to help the channel because every little bit helps. And I do have a link in the description if you'd like to buy me a couple of electricity because this stuff does, you know, suck up a little bit. And if you have any good tips on prompting, don't be afraid to leave a comment, especially if anything that works well for camera controls. And thanks for watching and have a great day.